Hi, guys. Uh -huh. Hi, Ale. How are you doing, Ale? Hi, Ale. Hi, teacher. Hey, how are you? Uh, pretty good. I'm fine. And you? Ah, cool. As well. Yes, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm glad. <laughs> yeah, me too. Well, I'm worried, you know, because um, my little kitty disappeared since yesterday light and she hasn't come back home. Oh. And it's the first time that uh, yeah, the first time that happens that yeah. So hopefully she's still alive. Oh uh, yeah, hopefully, oh. and and she will come back. Uh, they said that the cats are really they are not too like the ones who stay home, right? They would like to oh. hang in there and all those stuff. So I think this is the first time that I have a cat. So hopefully oh. she returns back home because I miss her. You know what? It's like, really weird because uh, every time she arrives, he's, she's a really, he's a chubby girl and she always loves to eat a lot. And yeah, yeah and sometimes she went out for, during the night, but she comes back a uh, really early morning, like meow, 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 asking for food. And today was not the case. Oh, no. So I don't know if she's still alive. Hopefully she is. Yeah. Because yeah. I miss her. I can't imagine. I don't know what to say, but no. I hope she returns. Yeah, I yeah, because you know what? Chestnut misses her. Yeah. Because they are really close friends. They're friends. They are really close friends with Chestnut and Mishi. You cannot imagine that. Yeah, because they grew oh. up together. Oh, how many years uh, have they been together? Chestnut, uh, well, I think eight months. <laughs> and, and Mishi, or oh, Chloe, she's six months. Six months, oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like. Both are babies. <laughs> yeah, both are babies. So hopefully she returns because I miss her. I have all her toys, the food, yeah. and everything. She has a special food in, all, in her box. A cartoon box that she loves. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I miss nice. her. She, she returned soon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I will let you know as soon as possible. Hopefully she returns today. Sometimes they said that they run away for two or three days and then get come back. Or for example, they said that if somebody like had done something to them, like poisoned them or something like that, and wow. all the all the pets return to die. On their at their houses or uh, I don't know only in their houses, so mm -hmm. so I don't know. Hope I, that's what I think is she hasn't returned is because she's still alive. So uh, hopefully, hopefully I can yeah, I can hopefully. find her. Yeah. I will send you the the news as soon as possible. Okay, once yeah, she returns. Please, please. Yeah, <laughs> because I miss her and also Chestnut. Chestnut has been really um, sad during the whole day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, because. She, he misses her pal, his pal, his closest friend. I yeah. can't even. Yeah. So that's the only sad part that I have. But tell me, guys, how about you? How was your day going? Grecia, how's your day going? You look so relaxed today. Like, woof, woof. Yes. Hi, teacher. Hey, how are you today? Um, I'm fine. I, I have a good day. Oh, that's awesome. Hey. This day was wasn't a hard day. Um, oh, great, finally. I, finally, <laughs> it, for me, it was uh, was a different day for the other Wednesdays. Ah, really? Why? Because because uh, the the uh, the the case uh -huh. for the committee. For the committee, the, yeah, are more the committee are, are uh, uh, someone in other uh, in other in other days mm -hmm. uh, are more case 
in this, okay. in this day, mm -hmm. only two. Oh, so that's amazing. Oof. So yeah. because you look more relaxed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm so happy yeah. because you deserve it. For this day. Yeah, you deserve it. Your your work is pretty hard. So yeah, you, you I am right. To like, I arrived to my home. Uh -huh. You arrived back home at what time? At 6 30 p.m. Oh, that's really and early for you, right? Yeah, and usually the other Wednesday I arrive to uh, 8. Wow. Yeah. So two hours early. Yeah. Or two hours earlier than usual. So that's amazing. I'm yeah. so happy for you. Yeah. yeah. Way to go, girl. <laughs> Woohoo! Finally. Very good. Finally. Yeah, but and I'm so happy also. I also happy because yesterday, besides I miss you, Grecia, I miss Mr. Rafael. And I was wondering, where is he? Has he gone and ate like Campero and something happened to him. I don't know. So, Mr. Rafael, how are you, sir? Hi, how are you? Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, as I told you, uh, my father in law, mm -hmm. um, we bring some food to you brought his, some food? Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, we bring, the, we bring the food to his child because he was working. Oh, so, so but you brought because that was passed. Yeah, you brought. Uh huh. Yeah, I broke. So um, we we brought some Chinese food. Oh no, no, don't <laughs> kill me. Uh huh. Yeah. So we make like a special dinner with 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 the whole family. So it was not Campero. It was not Campero. No. Uh -huh. We ask we ask we ask him and mm -hmm. he told that he. he he told us that he wants Chinese food. Chinese food. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So we got like a... With the wood sticks? Like... Huh? Wood sticks. Do you know what wood sticks are? Like palillos? No. Yeah, uh -huh, exactly. Uh -huh. Yeah. No, no, no. I cannot use them. <laughs> you cannot? No. Okay. I, can. I don't know how the Chinese do it because I cannot do it. <laughs> it's easy, but you got to practice it. Yeah, so we have a special dinner, so he was very happy because it was like a surprise for him. Yeah, I can imagine that. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm not come to class because we it's, get out late. They okay. quite come, I come home by 11 p.m., something Ooh. like that, so it was like, yeah. So you ended up late. Uh, you came yeah, I was back tired. Home. I just fell, fell asleep. Of course, of course. I am really, yeah. yeah, that's good. But you deserve to have a relaxed time as well. And also with yeah. your family. Yes, of course. Yeah. So I forgive you. Don't worry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, no, because I, I knew I was thinking, oh, and he said that. So, yeah. But you know what? I thought that you got sick, but thanks God you're not. You're good. I'm so happy about it also. I, I don't even know if, if, if we have like special dinner because my wife, she don't tell me nothing the whole day. She didn't she tell you? Tell me when, no, she don't tell me. So she told me when when i arrived from my job mm -hmm. and she told me that told you? she told me yeah mm -hmm. she told me that and she told me that she wants to call her father and ask him if he want eat something special so mm -hmm. that's why Whoop, what happened yeah okay okay got it that's okay thank you rafa who else? Okay, thank you. Uh, 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 uh. Who else? Who else? Who else? All righty. Uh, uh, uh. mm, 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 mm. There you go. Okay. Okay, who else that was not here? Well, it was at the beginning, but then disappeared. Janet, how are you, girl? What happened? Good evening. Good Very evening. Good. What happened to you yesterday? We were asking Janet, 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 and Janet was not yes. here. Right, guys? I was. <laughs> Listening, but I don't know what happened with my font. Ah. So answer. Really? <laughs> really? Yeah. Really? No, but then you disappeared. I was like, where is she? <laughs> no, I was listening. Uh -huh. But uh -huh. he's preferred uh, go out because can't do anything. You couldn't do anything. Well, maybe yeah. it was something uh, related to the internet or maybe no, the Zoom. It was Zoom. Was Zoom? 
Yes. Mm. So it's really hard, right? Maybe Zoom was tired. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe do that. That's a possibility. But I'm happy that I can see your face. That's amazing. Yeah, because today don't have a dream. You haven't dream? Wanna sleep? Don't wanna sleep yet. Ah, you don't wanna sleep? Yes. Why not? You have a lot of energy. Yeah, I feel oh. relaxed. She has drunk like a four cup of coffee. That could be the reason why. Yeah, I drink <laughs> two cups of coffee. How many? Two cups. Two cups. Two. On, only two. Yes. During yes, the only. day or right now? No, in only in the dinner. Only at dinner time. Mm -hmm. I love it. I know, but if we can count as uh, the first time that you wake up in the morning until right now, how many cup of coffee have you drunk? Maybe five cups. Five cups, woof. Yes, I love She's it. a coffee holly, you know, guys. Mm -hmm. And Alice is like, I <gasps> need for um, a way in the morning. Yes, I know. I know that too. Yes, My without coffee. Mm -hmm. um, uh, 53 a.m. 5.33 a.m.? And you I see, I, Iris is like, ah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> why, why you wake up so early, My Janet? Make it. To what? my coffee in the morning oh at 5 33 a.m yes oh my goodness <laughs> no really oh, no, no 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 yes i know i used to wake up really early morning you see like alejandro's like oh, no but now because i used to be young like alejandro but not right now no anymore no if i have time to sleep i you know what i'm a bird i sleep <laughs> yeah i don't know yeah. if i'm also because i'm closer to the 40s i don't know but you know what i always love to uh well there's one thing a lot of things that i love and one of the things that i love is to sleep <laughs> sleep yes i always have I love I had to find time to sleep to relax yes it's my hobby sleep all the day but for this i need many coffee really Yes. I always find the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you know what? And whiskey and chestnut loves to sleep with me as well. They're my shadows. So, they're my shadows. No matter where yeah. I go, they're with me. It I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, thank you, Janet, thank you. for sharing. Thank you. Also, yeah. Ivan and Miguelito. Thank you also, guys. Hey, let me... Uh, today, guys, we're going to talk about something really, really nice, you know. We're going to start learning something that I know that you love grammar. I know that by heart. And everybody's like, hmm. Nah. <laughs> like, right, Bea? You love grammar, right? No, teacher. Not really. Yes. <laughs> Just and inside is like, no. <laughs> Hi, Juancito. How are you? Hi, Iris. Hi, Michael. Hi, Karen. Hi, Sonia. Hi, everybody. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi. Hi, guys. Today, uh, we're going to learn something really important. Uh, for example, we can make a request, uh, a direct message to somebody when we are face to face, right? For example, I can say, um, let me pick um, Ivan. Okay. I have, I, well, I, I pretended that I have Ivan because I can only see his, his picture, right? I cannot see him physically right now. But I can say, Ivan, uh, don't be late. Don't be late to class, right? For example, okay? But that is a, a message that I give it to him because I have him in front of me. But guys, I know that all of you have passed to this situation. Maybe they have called to, the, to your house or you left the cell phone uh, on the bed or on the living room or over the table, any place, and uh, you were not near when somebody calls you, right? To the house phone or to the cell phone, but since no, you were not there, somebody else grabbed the phone and answered, okay? And it was a message for you, but you were not physically there. So the other person, took the message for you, okay? That somebody else left, and then uh, when you arrive, it will give it to you, the information. So, so that's what we call in English, indirect requests. Let's pretend that 
Ivan was not there, right? Or, or is not here. Do you remember what was the message that I asked him? Don't be late, right? Don't be late. That was imperative. So um, let's say that Alejandro is my assistant. Okay. And I said, Alejandro, can you tell uh, Ivan not to be late? You see? I'm not talking to Ivan because he's not there physically, but I'm leaving the message to Alejandro as a as an intermediary, right? The, the person that is in the middle between Ivan and me, because he's going to give the message to Ivan later. You see? That's what we're going to learn today, guys. How we can do a, a indirect messages when you were not there and somebody else left a message for you because you were not physically there. Do you understand what we're going to do today? Bea? Yeah. Hi, Juancito? Grecia? Janet? Karen? No? Yes. Okay, Grecia. Okay, Grecia. That's what I'm asking you because I can see your face like you're what? Uh, I don't okay. understand. Okay. So let me explain to you. Let me do it with you. Okay? Okay, Grecia. Right now, I can, I, I can ask you to do something, right? But, but, but turn, don't turn it off your, your microphone. I want you to turn it on, please. Okay, very okay. good. Okay, so I can say, Grecia, don't be late. Okay? Okay. Okay. Or also, let me give you something uh, is a little bit easy. Uh, Grecia, uh, Janet, she's, Janet is going to have a party on Saturday. Okay? That is the sentence. That is, yes, let's pretend. And maybe it's true. <laughs> no, okay. So I'm telling you right now, I'm, I'm giving you the message, Grecia, directly to you because I can see you right now face to face, mm -hmm. right? But yeah. imagine that I have this message to you, but when I'm, I want to give you the message, you're not there physically. And I mm -hmm. have to leave the message to somebody else. For example, uh, Alejandro, Alejandro, can you tell Grecia that Janet is going to have a party on Saturday? You see, the message is that I want you to go to the party of, of Janet, right? But uh, you were not there at the time that I leave the message. But, so I had to ask Alejandro, or I had to give the message to Alejandro and Alejandro will give the message to you. You see? Okay? Yeah. Yeah, so that's what we're talking about. Indirect requests. I'm asking somebody else to give the message to a third person. Because by the time I oh. give the message, that person was not there. Okay? So basically, okay. that's what we're going to learn. Guys, depends of how what is the message or how you uh, construct the message. It will be the way that you say it in an indirect way. Because, uh, for example, if you use a statement, like the example I use with Grecia, there's one way to transform that sentence into an indirect request. But, for example, if you say it like, like uh, the example that I gave to Ivan, Ivan, don't be late. That is not a statement, guys. That is an imperative because I'm asking to do something, a command, right? Hey, don't be late, mm -hmm. right? So in that case, there will be guys, another way, a different way to transform that idea into an indirect request. And also, if my message is using a just no question or a WH question, also, there will be a different way to transform that idea into indirect requests. It will be different. It's not, it's not complicated, guys. It's not complicated. But there are some like differences that I want you guys to pay attention on them. Not only because when, the, when you speak, but also when you write. Because it's really, really important to learn that. So we're going to start and uh, we're going to do something. I'm going to send it right now, the listening part, guys that I'm gonna um, share with you. Second piece of paper. <laughs> okay, they're for, this is really funny. All right, so what I'm gonna do, right? I'm going to share with you guys what we are going to listen. To. We're going to listen, um, let me check, 
six people talking to Jeff's office. But Jeff is not there. So the assistant has to answer the six calls from different people. And basically, they, uh, she has to like take all the messages. So I, so I send it to you right now. Do you have it, guys, with you? Do you have it in the WhatsApp? Yeah? Yes. Okay. So you're going yes. to listen the phone conversation, the phone calls, and all that I want you to do, guys, that's only the thing that I want to do. You see that the questions or the sentences, they are incomplete. Is that right? Are they incomplete? It is missing information, right? In some of them. Yes. Okay. Okay. So this is the only thing that I want you to do. In the space that there is no information, you don't have to invent anything. All that you got to do is to put either ask or tell. That's all. Ask or tell. Okay. So first, are you with me? Yes. Bea, Janet, Ivan, Miguelito. Yes. 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 yes teacher. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. Sony. Yeah, everybody. Okay. So I'm going to play right now the audio and please pay attention because I'm going to play it two times. The first time is just for you to put either ask or tell. And the second time is to figure it out who left that message to Jeff. Okay. So let me just a couple of minutes. Let me share right now my screen with you. There you go. Mm. Page 19, exercise nine, perspectives. Could you tell Jeff, part A, Listen to the messages Jeff's assistant received while Jeff was away at lunch today. Complete each request with ask or tell. One. Could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party on Friday night? Two. Could you ask Jeff what he would like me to get him for his birthday? Three. Jeff is picking me up after basketball practice. Can you tell him not to be late? Four. Please tell Jeff that I owe him an apology. I forgot about our date last night. Five. Can you ask Jeff to return my call? I need to know when his report will be ready. Six. Could you ask Jeff whether he can come to class on Friday night instead of Thursday? All right. Now, guys, here you go. Let's do it. Bea, the first one, please. Can you please? Could, mm -hmm. could, could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party on Friday night? Very good. Excellent. Hey, and congratulations. Good intonation, Bear. Excellent job. <laughs> Thank you. Very good job. Gracia, number two. Could you ask Jeff what, what he would like me to get him for his birthday? Very good. That's good. But now, Gracia, I want you to do me a favor. Try to say the question, but without stopping. Okay. You can do it. Could you, could you ask Jeff what he would like me to get him for his birthday? Excellent job. Very good job. Janet, number three, please. Jeff is picking me up after basketball practice. Can you tell him not to be late? Very good. Excellent. Miguelito, what about number four? Uh, no, 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 Miguelito, no. It's going to be Iris. Oh, number four. Yes, for a reason. Please tell Jeff that owe him apology. I forget about our date last night. Oh my God, but you have to feel it, the emotion. Come on. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The, he, you have a date with Mr. Jeff and you said, oops, I forgot it. <laughs> okay. So I, I at least show empathy, please, Iris. Come on. Okay. Do it again. You can do it. Uh, please tell just that I always me apology I forget about day last night okay well much better than the first one you can say please 
tell Jeff that I, I, I have him an apology. I forgot about our date last night. You see? Like, you're like, oh, I'm sorry for you. Yeah, like, you're sorry. Come on, Iris. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. Very good. Uh, 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 uh. Yes. Uh -uh. Yes. Miguelito, now is your turn. Number five, please. Okay. Can you ask Jeff to return my call? I need to know when this report will be ready. Oh, my goodness. You see? He has a boss ton of boys. Woohoo! Very good, Jeff. Uh, Jeff, sorry. Miguelito. <laughs> All righty. And the last one. Uh, 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 uh. Ivan, the last one, please. Number six. See, it says, could you tell Jeff whether he can come to class on Friday night instead of Thursday? Very good. Okay. Excellent job. Good job, guys. Very good. That was a really easy part, right? Uh huh. Now, guys, let's find out something. You see, Janet is like, woohoo. Okay. Now, guys, we already have listened one time. And if you figure it out, it's not the same person, right, who called. We actually, we have six different persons who called. So we need to listen again. And I want you guys to tell me after that, who do you think left each message? Who? I'm going to send you the six possible answers. So allow me just a couple of minutes. Let me send it to you. There you go. I sent it to you. Let's listen again and try to identify who left those messages or each message. Page 19, exercise 9, perspectives. Could you tell Jeff, part A, Listen to the messages Jeff's assistant received while Jeff was away at lunch today. Complete each request with ask or tell. One. Could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party on Friday night? Two. Could you ask Jeff what he would like me to get him for his birthday? Three. Jeff is picking me up after basketball practice. Can you tell him not to be late? Four. Please tell Jeff that I owe him an apology. I forgot about our date last night. Five. Can you ask Jeff to return my call? I need to know when his report will be ready. Six. Could you ask Jeff whether he can come to class on Friday night instead of Thursday? All right, there you go. Ali, who called the first message? Who left the first message, sorry. Yeah, I was afraid to ask me because um, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh, okay. yes, Janet, help I him. Think was friend it was a friend yes it was a friend uh, because he was talking about the party come on Ali. <laughs> no, that's okay very good but good try okay hey. but you see you were afraid and i asked you but that's okay don't worry it's part of the process okay what about number two what about number two ali I, again yes you have number two or no no i don't i don't i don't have I, ha, he was distracted with Lulu. Uh -huh. yeah, I was uh, a little bit distracted. I'm sorry. Okay, sorry. that's okay. Mm -hmm. Who can help Mr. Ali? Bea, what about you, Bea? What do you have for me? We cannot hear you, Bea. Your, your phone your, is off. The second one, maybe he's... Uh, girlfriend? Are you sure? No. No. Uh -huh. Mother, mother, very good, yes. excellent, <laughs> good job, good job, very good, excellent. What about uh, 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 number three, Miguelito? What do you think? I thought that is his young sister. Yeah, the John's sister, exactly, because she was talking about uh, pick her up to the basketball game, right? Excellent, very good. Number four, Iris, what do you think? 
don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Don't know. Help her, Juancito. Sonia, help her. Ah, come on. I don't know. Iris. Okay, Juancito, help her. Juancito. Um, uh -huh. The girlfriend. Very good. You see, Iris, you already knew it, right? You don't want to answer. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> okay, Sonny, what about number five? Who do you think call, Sonia? Sonia, Sonia, yes. His okay. boss. His boss, very good, excellent. And number six, uh, Rafael or Heidi, either or? Uh, his teacher. Yeah, thank you so much for being the teacher. That was like me, me, right? Yeah, very good. <laughs> excellent, excellent job. Yeah, that's right. So very good. We already identified. We're, we're putting in practice, guys, the listening, okay? I know, I know. All the classes, we're going to play something about listening, okay? Because that's the thing that we need to develop the most. Okay, excellent job, guys. So are you ready for the party? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's easy, peasy, queasy. Okay, guys. So we're going to learn. I'm going to go step by step. Um, I will send it to you right now just for you to have it. Okay. But I will try to explain it each by each. Okay. I send it to you right now, guys. The third uh, picture. Basically, guys. To make an indirect request, we can make them from statements. We can make them for imperatives, as you can see on the WhatsApp. We can make them from just no questions and also for WH questions. But depends on which one you are using in that direct message is that is going to be how we can transform them into indirect way. That will depends. For example, the first one, guys, is statements. Who can help me read it? Uh, 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 uh. Noria, thank you so much for joining the class. Sorry. No, that's okay, Nori. Do you have the WhatsApp with you? Uh, my phone is. Ah, okay, okay. Don't worry. I will give you a time, okay? Don't worry. In the meantime, uh, somebody else help me. Janet? 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 Can you repeat again? Yes, okay. You and Nori will be the ones who help me. Uh, Nori, do you have already the WhatsApp opened? Okay, yeah. Hey, you, you, the last? The, yeah, do you already have the, the WhatsApp open, the last picture? Yeah? Okay. Okay. So, guys, in the last picture, you have two columns. The left column, which is the regular message, right? The, yes. the one that you that you use when you have a person face to face. And the right one is the one that you converted into indirect request. Oh, no. So what I'm going to do is, Nori, do me a favor. The first thing is, is what it says, statements, right? Or sentences. Could you please read for me that part where it says, Jeff, Comer? Jeff, Tony is heavy, having a party. Okay, very good, Janet. You said, Jeff, Tony's having a party. That is a message that you're saying that you use, Janet, when you have the person face to face in front of you, yes. physically. But we are learning how to make a request when the person is not there, and we have to leave the message with somebody else. So, yes. Nori, Nori, do me a favor. Can you please read for me the le the right part when you said, "Could you tell Jeff?" Could you tell Jeff? Mm -hmm. The first? Yeah, the first one, yes. Okay. Could you, could you tell Jeff that Tony, so I know. Uh -huh. Could you Tony? tell Jeff that Tony is having a party on Friday night? Uh, oh, oh, no, that's no. Uh, Tony having a party. That's good. Very good. Yeah. Excellent job. Very good. Thank you, Noria. Okay, okay, guys. So when you are transforming, guys, into indirect, always you got to use could you tell. Could you tell? Always. Could you tell or can you tell? There, there's one of my students before you asked me, teacher, also only could or we can also use can. You can also use can, but let me let you know what I prefer to use could. Because uh, 
you can use can guys when you have a close relationship with somebody right like your friends for example but in this case you're asking somebody else that you don't know to give the information or the message to your friend so in this case it will be polite to use could instead of can so my best recommendation will be to use could could you could in this case could you tell jeff that and do me a favor always you gotta put could you tell could you tell i'm 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 explaining guys when you want to translate a statement or regular sentence into indirect request i'm explaining the first part right now so always you gotta put could you tell and guys what is what is the object of the message or what i'm when i'm saying object i'm asking who is the person that I want to send the message? What is the name of the person? Danny. In this case, yes. Jeff. 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 Yeah. Okay. So the formula will be, guys, could you tell the object, then the object, which in this case is going to be the person that I need to send the message, that in this case is Jeff, right? Jeff. And then you can put the message itself. That, and what is the message? The Tony is having a party, right? That is the message. Tony is having a party. But guys, that's why I put it in bold colors or in black colors, just to emphasize. Because when you have an statements, you're going to make a direct request introducing by the word that. But take a look at something, guys. That in the sentence, it is in parentheses. Do you know why? It's because we can optional. Exactly. exactly, because it's optional. Gracias, do me a favor. Read the indirect request, the first one that we're talking right now about without the word that. Can you read it for me? And we cannot hear you, sorry. Okay. Oh, no, very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party? Okay, you're using that. Very good. Now read it again, but don't mention the word that. Could you tell Jeff Tony is having a party? Very good. You see, guys, we can use that or we cannot use that. And do, does does it have the same meaning? Yes. 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 Okay. So that's why I put it in parentheses and input because it is optional. In your experience, which one would sound more natural? That without that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, most of the time I don't use that, <laughs> but I had to let you know that because it's really important. Okay. And you can use either okay. or. Can you tell uh, yeah, if Tony is having a party like that? I don't know use that. Mm. Most of the time I don't. But it's really important that you know that, guys. Uh, the two ways to make indirect requests when you are uh, transforming a, a statement, a regular sentence. That, that is easy peasy queasy, right? Yes. Teacher. Yes, Sonia. The two forms are correct. Which one? The two forms? Yes. That Grammarly and that. correct yes. both. Grammarly correct both. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, now, guys, take a look at the second option, the second sentence, or the second uh, message. Imperatives. When do we use imperatives for, guys? For what? We are in front of the people. Yes, uh, uh, all the all the left part, Ivan, is, is when we are in front of the people, because that is like direct message. But for example, when we are using a sentence or a message with imperatives, most of the time, guys, imperatives is to give a command, right? Command. To give an order. Mm -hmm. Don't be late, right? Bring the food. Bring bring the sodas, right? Turn down the TV. Like that, right? For example. So when we use imperatives, there's going to be difference in the way that we transform it into an indirect question. Uh, 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 um. Juancito, do me a favor, Juancito. Can you please read for me the first sentence when it says imperatives, the second sentence? Juancito, Juancito. Where is Juancito? Juancito for me, it sounds like pancito. I don't know why. Yes. 
Juancito, okay. are you still there? Juan, don't you sleep in the... Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. No, he's not sleeping. You see, Janet, okay. Okay, Juancito. Jeff, uh -huh. Go ahead. Don't be late. Very good. Jeff, don't be late. That is a command, right? That is an order. Don't be late. Especially yeah. when you go out and your mama say, don't be late. Okay? All right. Yeah. So this is an imperative. How can we transform that into an underrated yeah. way? Mm -hmm. Do me a favor. And Heidi, can you please read it for me? The indirect way using imperatives. Heidi, Heidi's not there, also, right? Oh, oh yes, she is there. Yes. yes. Okay, cool. Um, imperatives. Yeah, I can see well. Uh, you 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 can just pop it up and put it a little bit bigger. Like that. Yeah. Imperatives. I, I I get lost. <laughs> I am sorry, Jeff. Don't be late. Uh -huh. So indirect request. Mm -hmm. Can you tell Jeff not to be late? Very good, excellent, and good intonation, Heidi. So take a look at this one, guys. If for indirect uh, requests uh, using infinitives and imperatives, we we're going to use can you tell? All right, can you tell? Like in an order. And also, can you tell who? After can you tell, that will be the object of the message, which in this case is going to be the person who we need to send the message to. In this case, it's Jeff. It could be Grecia. It could be Ivan. It could be Nori. It could be anybody else. And then, guys, we have the message, not to be late. If, we, if we're going to use a negative imperative like the one that we have here don't be late when we transform into infinite into an indirect uh, request we're going to put the word not after the name of the person and then the infinitive in this case to be to be late but for me for you to understand much better guys i'm going to give you an example okay another example because we can also use affirmative imperatives not only negatives we also can use it affirmatives. Let me share right now my screen with you. Okay, can you can you see it, guys? Yep. Yeah? Yes, yes or no? Okay, cool. Yes. We are here, right? Yes. We are here. And we are studying this one. Okay, guys. So take a look. This is a negative, right? Negative. Don't. That is the auxiliary, right? And what is the the infinity or the bird that we're using? The main bird? Be. Be. Exactly. We transform it. It's different. We do not use, you, if you see, guys, we do not use the auxiliary anymore. But we leave it in negative Y, and then we have to be. That is the infinitive. Okay? The infinitive way. Let me give you another example, just for you to be a little bit clear. A bit very clear. Okay, let me check. We can say Jeff, all right? Oh, let me put something. That is the direct message, okay? Let me put the direct message here. Okay. Jeff, because we are using... Okay, let's continue, guys, with the idea of the party, okay? Let's continue with that all the time, uh, just to focus on one specific scenario. Okay, and another uh, imperative related to, to party, we can say, Jeff... Uh, Bring the sodas or the pizza. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Who's hungry? The pizza for the party. Okay. All right. So that is the regular message, right? Okay. Here, guys, bring. This is imperative. Remember that the imperative always have the, the verb at the beginning. Okay. And what is the message, guys? The pizza for the party. The pizza for the party. Exactly. You're right about that. There you go. The pizza for the party. Okay. So take a look at the formula here. All right. We have it here. Very good. That is our direct message, right? How can we transform that into indirect way? Okay. Let's put the indirect way here. Or indirect. Mm -hmm message message or we can put it into parentheses request 
Okay, let's do it. Can you tell Jeff to bring, oops, to bring the pizza to the party? Okay, what is the formula, guys? Can you tell plus the object, which is this case going to be the person who needs to leave the message? Then we have the infinitive and of course we have the message right itself. There you go. Okay, follow these guys. Let me switch it for different color. Uh, let me check. Yeah, this one will be. Okay, so you see, can you tell this one? Can you tell? Can you tell? Who's the person that will want to leave the message or the object? Yes. Jeff. So in this case, it's going to be the different color. There you go. There you go. Okay. What is the infinitive here, guys? To bring. To bring. Remember, guys, that infinitive is always, most of the time, will be with to. To give, to bring to take, do you remember that? Yes. Yes, and what is the message? The pizza, pizza. to the party, okay? Two or four, the party is the same. Yeah, to the party, for the party, yeah, it's the same. There you go. So you see the difference, guys? You see it? Yeah, so you see in, in this one, take a look at this one, because in this one, the imperative was negative, right? So I had to put that, the the word not, but also you can make an imperative or an order uh, using positive sentence, which in this case is bring the pizza for the party. If I want to make a negative, I can say, yes, don't bring the pizza to the party, right? That would be the difference. Uh, right now, guys, do me a favor. May I ask you, so far, so good? How we are so far? Grecia, Bea, Rafa, Heidi, Janet, Iris, Juancito, Sonia, Mercy, Miguelito. Yeah. Bea? Yeah. Yes. Good? Yes. Good. Okay. Good. Okay, guys. Now it comes the, the two things that you will need to like make a little bit uh, pay attention to that, which in this case is going to be just no questions and uh, WH questions. Take a look at the square that, that I sent it to you right now, the information that everything is there. And I just no question. Who can help me read it? Uh, 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 Rafa, Rafa, do me a favor. Can you help me read, please? I just no questions. On the left side, please. Okay. Let's see. What it says, Sophia. Okay. Okay. Um. Sofia, are you free on Friday? <coughs> right. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> All right, Sofia. Or you can say. Direct uh, question. Yeah, exactly. You see, I told you, that's direct question. You can say, Ivan can say, <laughs> Aries, are you free on Friday? Uh, but you know what? <laughs> and look at his eyebrows. But but you know what? I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Ivan, but all of these girls are, uh, they're already married. So. I apologize for that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But you can say that, right? Hey, are you free on Friday? Mm -hmm. You see, are you free on Friday? In that sentence, guys, how do I know that it's a just no question? Uh huh. Are, are you? Are you, exactly. Because which is the auxiliary bird that we're using? Auxiliary. Are you free on Friday? What is the verb there? To be. Aha, uh -huh, the bird to be, and which is the bird to be in that question? R. R. Uh, only Ivan, come on. <laughs> yes, exactly. No, very good, Ivan, very good. Exactly. R. Teacher Ivan. Teacher Ivan, uh huh. Why is yeah. it just no question, guys? Because when somebody asks you, hey, are you free on Friday? You have two options. Yes, I am, or no, I'm not, period. Right? 
Yes, it's a just no question. So when it's a just no question, guys, how I'm going to transform that question on our idea, direct message into indirect request. Take a look. And who can help me read it? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ivan. It says, can you ask Sophia if she is free on Friday? Very good. Guys, when, thank you, Ivan. When we are talking about transforming a just no question into indirect request, we're going to use it if or whether. Whether, guys, that noise, weather, right? Weather is the climate. Whether, this one is ya sea. That's the word, ya sea. O esto, o ya sea esto, o ya sea lo otro, right? That is weather. Like when you have two choices, okay? Okay, guys, so... Hey, in this one, in a just no question, do I use tell or do I use ask, guys? Take a look. Uh-huh. Rafa, Nori, Miguelito, Iris, Janet. I use ask or I use tell. Gracia? Ask. Ask. Ask, exactly. So with a just no question, you don't use tell. You use ask. Okay? This is really ask. important to take a look on that. Yeah. Oh, take a look at the second, uh, the second one. Uh, Noria, can you please read for me the second just no question? The one that says, Sophia, do you? Mm -hmm. Sophia, do you have my number? Uh-huh, very good. Yes, you're having a face-to-face -face with Sophia. Hey, do you have my number, girl? Huh? Okay, but she's not there. So you're going to ask that uh, under a way, how you can ask it. Continue asking that, Grecia, in the under way. Uh, the second yes could you ask her mm -hmm. could you ask her whether or not she has my number mm -hmm. how you transfer that into spanish le podrías preguntar si tiene mi nombre o no mi número de teléfono o no si lo tiene o no right si lo tiene o no yeah you see hey you have to congratulate me with for my spanish come on ah. <laughs> come on come on guys you are my Spanish teacher and I'm an English teacher, so we gotta like share knowledge, you know? Mm. Thank you, Iris. Thank you so much. All righty. So you see, guys, you also use can, or in this case, you use could, right? Could you, and then you use always ask. But in this case, take a look that in the second example, guys, we do not use the name Sophia. We use the pronoun, right? Could you ask her? That means that you can either, guys, use the name of the person or you can use a pronoun as long as you know who you're talking about, right? Mm -hmm. For example, if you, if, if you and the other person know that person, of course, you can use the pronoun. For example, if I can talk with uh, Iris, uh, I can say, could you ask uh, Juancito Iris, is he free on Saturday? Like, for example, right? I'm making an example. Don't take it personally. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's what I give an example. Yeah, I'm talking about he. Why? Because Iris and me, we know him. We know that we're talking about the same person. So we can use either the person's name or a pronoun. Are we good on that? Yeah. Okay. Let's move to the last one, guys. The last one. Finally, teacher. Yes. Finally, don't worry about that. Bea, it's your turn, my girl. Bea, can you please read for me the first WH question? Yes. Ye yes. Jeff. <laughs> yeah. Jeff, when does the party start? Very good. Jeff, when does the party start? Hey, what is the difference between a just no question and a WH question, guys? A w question uh, need more information. more information exactly very good because i'm asking jeff when is the party right i don't i don't want i don't expect i just no answer i yeah. expect to give me the time the day etc right okay but take a look at that jeff comma and then i got the wh question when does the party start in this case uh, the time i'm asking about the time so when you transform that idea, guys, into an indirect question, also you're going to use ask. Could you ask Jeff? But take a look. Right after the name of the person, in this case, Jeff, 
you will use the same WH question. When, if you use when, is an indirect, you're going to use when is an indirect one. If you use what, you're going to use what when you convert it, okay? You're not going to change the WH question that you use. But take a look at something, guys. Take a look at the sentence or the question that Bea read for us. When does the party start? In that sentence, what is the auxiliary verb that she used? Auxiliary. Does. Does. Uh -huh. yes. Why? Because I'm talking about the party. The party is singular or plural? Singular. Singular. First, second, or third person singular? Third, third, third person singular. So that's why it's does, right? And since I'm using the auxiliary does, what am I going to do with the main verb that is the verb start? Should I have to like transform into third person or no? We add the S, the it, little S. No, in this case, no, Janet, because we're all already using does as an auxiliary. So I is converting the, all the question into a third person. So I don't have to touch the main verb. I don't have to touch it. In this case, it's a start. But you are uh, you are right in something, Janet. When I transform that idea into a an direct question, take a look, guys. Can you ask Jeff when the party starts? I no longer use the auxiliary does. So what I had to do with the main verb, I got to transform it into a third person. So I got to add the S at the end. Okay, that is one thing that you need. Like I, I told you that guys, that it was tricky maybe, but it's really important when you write. Okay, and I was just like, oh, yes. Maybe you said, oh my god, why I, why this one is not working? It's because you're missing something. You gotta pay attention to those details, guys. But it's really, really important. Take a look at the other one, the last one. It says, Sophia, what time should I pick you up? I'm asking her because she's face to face, but now she's not face to face and I had to leave the message with somebody else. So take a look guys to the indirect question. Could you ask Sophia what time should I pick her up? I don't say should I pick you up anymore because I'm not talking with her, okay? Or also we can use, for example, somebody else, Miguelito. Okay, I'm, I'm supposed to pick Miguelito, right? Uh, um at his office for example so i can say if i if i have miguelito in front of me i can say miguel what time should i pick you up because i'm talking to him right now but if i leave that message with um with sonia for example i can say sonia could you please ask miguel what time i should pick him up no longer her it's going to be him. Why? Because I'm talking about a man. Do you understand what I'm doing? Yeah? Yes. I know it's a little bit yes. details, but you gotta pay attention to those details. Okay, cool? Okay, guys, you know what? Time is over. Case, Can you imagine? Yes, go ahead, Janet. In this case, the, uh, the pronoun I changed the form, right? Yes, exactly, because I'm no longer talking to you directly. Okay. Uh huh. So if, if I'm talking about Sophia, for example, instead of I, it's going to be her, right? Okay. And if I'm talking to an, a man, instead of her, it's going to be him. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that depends. Okay. So that's why I, I emphasize on those because maybe it could be like, I, of course, teacher is common sense, but no, sometimes it's not too common sense. Sometimes you're like, oops, sorry. I made a mistake on that and I don't want you to make a mistake. So that's why I'm emphasizing on that. Guys, I'm going to send you your homework. Okay. I just already did. What it will be your homework? Actually guys will be eight sentences. You have to rewrite the sentences as indirect requests. You, in other words, guys, you have to ask someone to deliver this message for you, okay? So what I'm gonna do I want you guys to do it as, as a homework and tomorrow we're going to put in practice because we're going to play between each other. We're going to send unusual message to somebody else, right? And also the other person is going to send the message to the people that's supposed to be. And I was like, what? 
Yeah, guys, these eight sentences, they are mixed. So you gotta be paying attention with those because it could be imperatives, could be a statements, could be WH questions or just no questions. That depends. So read carefully the messages and identify which one is using and try to transform into an indirect question, okay? Or indirect request. Any questions, any doubts? Feel free to ask. No? Anyone. Anyone. No, my teacher. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Okay, so I'm so happy to see you once again. Thank you so much for the heart, Mr. Ivan and Ale and Karen. You say, woohoo, we're leaving. No. <laughs> okay, guys, hugs and kisses. Have a great night, okay? Bye-bye. Good night. Good night, night teacher. Night.